my dear students, welcome back to your English class. This is Darisa Jimenez, your English teacher. Get ready to learn because today we're going to begin a new unit. Let's go. In the last unit about setting plan and agreeing on a meeting, you learn a lot about holidays and celebrations. Also, you learn how to talk about future plans and future events. You learn how to read and write cards and how to make, accept, and decline invitations. In this unit, which is about going shopping, ir de compras, you're going to learn a lot about different vocabularies and expressions that you need to go shopping. So I want you to get ready, take your notebook, your pencil, or anything you need, and let's begin. Going shopping, ir de compras. En esta unidad, ustedes van a aprender vocabulario, expresiones referentes a contexto de situaciones de compra. Qué comprar, cómo pedir precios, cómo escoger, cómo pedir opciones. In today's class, you're going to learn specifically, number one, to identify eight words for technological devices. Vas a aprender a identificar ocho palabras diferentes para aparatos electrónicos o tecnológicos. And number two, you're going to complete sentences using words related to technological devices like laptop, printer, headphones, mouse, memory stick, keyboard, router, and speaker. Get ready to learn and let's begin. Technological devices. In this part of the class, you're going to learn different words for different kinds of technological devices, aparatos tecnológicos o aparatos electrónicos. Now, I want you to watch a video. On the video, you're going to find words for different technical or electronic devices. I want you to make sure to take notes in your notebook, listen and repeat for the pronunciation. Let's watch. Game console. Game console. Game console. Controller. 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 Headphones. 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 Virtual reality. Virtual reality. Virtual reality. Printer. 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 Camera. 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 Radio. 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 Microphone. 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 Smartphone. 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 Smartwatch. 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 T 
tablet, 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 television, 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 computer, computer. Computer Laptop 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 Speaker 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 Well, my students, how many words did you learn today? Look at the words on the screen. What are those devices? Laptop, keyboard, printer, headphones, memory stick, speaker, and so on. Look at the name and try to have a picture in your mind of what these devices are. When I say laptop, what is a laptop? Exactly. This is a laptop. What about a mouse? Yes, this is a mouse. And when I say keyboard, this is a keyboard. And what about printer? This is a printer. And what about headphones? These are headphones and a router for the internet connection. Yes, this is a router. What about speakers? These are speakers. And finally, what is a memory stick? This is a memory stick. Now, I want you to look at an office. Look at this office. How many technological devices can you name in this picture? We have about eight different technological devices. Which one can you write only by listening, taking into account the correct spelling? ¿Cuáles de ellos podrías escribir correctamente? La manera en la que se escribe solo con escucharlo. Look at the ones that are going to move, and I want you to try to write its name. And then I want you to confirm your answer. Vas a ver el que se mueva, y luego quiero que pienses en cuál es el nombre. Lo escribas y luego lo confirmes. Let's go there. What are these? Speakers. Those are speakers. Bocinas. How can you write the word speakers? ¿Cómo puedes escribir esa palabra? Exactly. Speakers. Bocinas. And what about this one? Can you write the word laptop in English? ¿Puedes escribir la palabra laptop in English? Laptop. Exactly. It is written like this. Laptop. And what about that object? It's a router. Can you write the word router? Router. Yes. Router. Very good. And what about that one? That is a printer. Printer, impresora, printer. Very good, printer. And what about the headphones? Headphones. ¿Puedes escribirla? Headphones. Yes. This is the way we write headphones. 
And what about that one? It's a memory stick. Memory stick o memoria. Exactly, this is the way we write memory stick. And finally, what's that? It's a mouse. How can you write the word mouse? ¿Cómo se escribe la palabra mouse? Very good. Mouse. This is the way we write the word mouse. Now, I want you to help me to complete an exercise. In this, we have different sentences that refer to one of these technological devices. En este ejercicio tenemos diferentes oraciones que se relacionan con un aparato en específico. Which one is it? ¿Cuál es? Ayúdame a completar el ejercicio mientras lo leemos y escogemos el aparato que mejor corresponda. Let's begin. Letter A. Last December, my parents bought me a... Diciembre pasado, mis padres me compraron una... And I have been doing all my homework on it. Y he estado haciendo todas mis tareas en ella. What is it? A printer? A router? Exactly. It's a laptop. Letter B. I also need to buy a... También necesito comprar una o un... So that I can print some important documents for school para poder imprimir algunos documentos importantes de la escuela. Which one is it? A laptop? A printer? A memory stick? Exactly, it's a printer. I also need to buy a printer so that I can print some important documents for school. Let's move to the next one, letter C. My computer is connected to the internet through a... Mi computadora está conectada a la internet a través de un... What is the word? Keyboard? Memory stick? Router? Yes, through a router. My computer is connected to the internet through a router. Letter D. I find it helpful to use A in order to navigate my laptop. Me parece muy útil usar un para navegar en mi laptop. What is it? A memory stick? A mouse or speakers? Yes, a mouse. I find it helpful to use a mouse in order to navigate my laptop. Next one. When I need to save essential information, I use a yellow. Cuando necesito guardar información importante, utilizo una keyboard, router, or memory stick. Yes, a yellow memory stick. Una memoria de color amarillo. Next one. I use my, yo utilizo mi, to listen to music so I don't disturb my parents. Yo uso mi para escuchar música de forma que no moleste a mis padres. What is it? Speakers or headphones? Exactly, headphones. I use my headphones to listen to music so I don't disturb my parents. And finally, when no one's home, I use to play music as loud as I can. Cuando nadie está en casa, yo utilizo para poner música tan alta como pueda. What is it? Or what are those, headphones or speakers? Exactly, speakers. We use speakers when we want to play music as loud as we can. 
Now, my dear students, in this lesson, you learned many words about technological devices. En esta lección, ustedes aprendieron muchas palabras sobre aparatos electrónicos. I want you to look at this diagram. And I want you to think about how many words have you learned. Quiero que mires el diagrama y pienses en cuántas palabras puedes recordar, sin mirar tu cuaderno, sin mirar tus notas, o sin volver a ver el video. Which ones can you remember? I want you to complete the diagram using the different words, and you can add as many words as you want. Puedes añadirle al diagrama tantas palabras como puedas, incluso alguna que tú te supieras anteriormente. So when you finish completing the diagram with all the words you can remember, I want you to write two or three sentences using the words for homework. Look at the example. I do my homework on my laptop. When you finish the homework, cuando termines tu tarea, remember that you need to send it to your teacher for correction and feedback. Recuerda que cuando termines tu tarea, debes enviárselo a tu docente para corrección y retroalimentación. Well, my dear students, this is all for today's class. I hope you have enjoyed. See you next class. Please don't forget to wash your hands, wear a mask, and keep the social distancing. Bye-bye.